Hey, seventh graders. Uh, this YouTube video is primarily for you. Um, it's talking about next week's assignment or this upcoming week, the 5th through the 11th. Um, instead of doing an interactive notebook, I'm going to have you do a project. Um, and with this project, you're just going to kind of find things that you see laying around the house. Um, I went and actually did the project for you guys, so that's why I'm making the video. Um, so you can see kind of the things that I used around the house. Um, here on my phone, I took a picture of all the materials that I kind of found that I figured might be um, good to use. Um, I found a green envelope, some like wrapping tissue paper, some regular paper, cardboard, sticky notes, tape. I don't have glue at my house, um, so I just use tape for all of this. So you can definitely use that as well. Crayons, um, scissors, things like that. Um, anything else that you can find would be um, a good tool as well. Uh, so what you guys are going to do is you guys are going to be making flowers. So in lesson three, it talks about monocots and dicots. Um, and the big thing with those two, there's like five major cues or five major parts that are very different from those. Um, so you are going to be making a 3D model of each of them. I personally just got done doing this. Now I'm making the YouTube video for you guys um, to show that you guys can do it pretty quickly. Um, we, got, we know I'm not the most creative person in the world, so you got this, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. And if I can rummage through garbage and find stuff, you can too. Um, so here with the monocot, this is my monocot. You can see that it has a very fibrous root. It branches out kind of like trees, and it only has one seed. If we look at the bottom here, this is the vascular tissue. It's very sporadic. The holes are very sporadic, so the water can get through the stem right here, the stem I use out of toilet paper rolls. Do not take the toilet paper off. We are in short demand. Wait till it's all done, then take the rolls. Um, the leaves have parallel lines. I don't know if you can really see that, but they're very parallel. And then there's a couple leaves up on the top, but then it only has three petals. Um, and that's what makes a monocot. Um, mono also means one, and it only has one seed. So that's important to remember. Number two, is our dicot, okay? A dicot kind of has a taproot that kind of looks like a carrot with just kind of some strings hanging off. It has two seeds and it does still have vascular tissue, but it's ringed vascular tissue. So the holes are in a circle or it's very um, in place for a good reason um, to allow the water to flow through. Again, toilet paper rolls. I've been saving these because I knew I wanted to do this project. Um, so tape the two toilet paper rolls together to make the stem. You can see the leaves look a lot different. The lines are not parallel. They will eventually run into one another. And when you look at the flower part, I know this one's a little bit better, um, they have four or five leaves compared to just the three on the monocot. So that is what you guys are going to be doing this week. You will still need to read your interactive notebook but this will be your assignment instead of just reading and answering questions. Um, to submit it, you can take a picture. You can take a quick video kind of like this. Um, you can send it, send it to me on Remind. You can send it to me on Edmodo or through email. Um, one thing I do want you to note is I do want you to label all of it, as you noticed that I, I did. Um, make sure you're labeling that and I can see all the labeled parts. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I will be available for you um, until Friday or, or until Thursday. And then, uh, then it's Easter time and I'm going to spend some time with family. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are staying safe and sane and staying six feet apart from everybody. Take care. Bye.